Hello everyone, and welcome to part 2 of Let's Play Crash Bandicoot 1 with help from Cool Pro 195, the remastered edition. And as you can see, it's quite a sunny day today. Well, you won't be able to probably see it, but you know what I mean. But hopefully the quality is better than the last video, because as you can see, there are like graphical glitches and stuff. But not too many graphical glitches, just a, like some sort of green outline around the crash, if you know what I'm saying. And a bit of blurriness at times as well. So. Anyways, hopefully those of stupid technical difficulties have bypassed. Anyway, starting with up the fridge, and as you can see on the And it's the second war level of the stream. Um, and good news, players have got back to the, the game. Yeah, that's a good game. Yeah, we might show you something so a bit later. You know, not on camera, but, you know... Yeah, he'll just... He'll show me it, that's what he means, not you, though. No. It's one player, anyway. Yeah. And as always, dodge those fish as usual. But, if you're, like, in a speed on something, then it's best to jump and spin those fish. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, now there are invisible boxes down there, but we have to go from this part and have to hit that. Yeah, and jump on top of that question mark. I mean, exclamation mark, what am I saying? Exclamation mark box. And we go down here and there's a plant. And then we go on that TNT. And you don't forget, you must bounce on the screen. Oh shit! We have to start the thing again now. Why? To get the gem. Oh. Sorry, I have to start up the level again. Yeah, sure. sorry for that little bit of bullshittery. What have I got? And that usually doesn't happen. Just a little mishap. Anyways, moving on. Maybe experiencing a little deja vu at the moment. Yeah. Actually, a lot of deja vu. Played this so long in my childhood. Yep, I don't know. Yeah, I was the one playing it. So it can't be a play. Well, I think it became a play mode. Anyways, as I was saying earlier on, about that TNT, you must jump on that springy box with the arrow before oh. the TNT explodes. I wasn't trapped there. Yeah. Like he said, you'll be trapped over there and you'll have no choice but to commit suicide on that river. And we spawn at the check. Or if you want to get the gem, then we start the level like us. It's a simple one. And I'm not even going to bother getting that one. I'm just going to cut to the chase, jump on there, and as I've said, jump on it before that explodes. And that was really close, because for all I know, if I jumped too late, I would have lost my Oculus mask and I would have probably gotten trapped there too. Anyway, it's the second turn of the level. Really little bonus round. Yeah. As you guys would already know if you've watched the last part, the previous part. Yes, yeah, so here's the third token now. And that is a bonus round. Um, uh, the bonus round start off easier with when it gets harder to go on. Yes, yeah, so here we are up in the red treetops again. And the game is not locked off to me. No. It is in it. As it should be. Well, I think the 90s is when they started to introduce, like, 3D games. So, maybe that's why. And they tried to make it, like, more 3D and 2D. So, basically it's more 2.5D than just 2D when it comes to 2D environment. 
It's more 2.5D. And that's to corner. The lovest crashes life. Yeah. The one that crashes life. Well... Nice little stuff. Uh, people <laughs> think that she left the trash for Pinstripe. Yeah, apparently that's rumoured. Just because he's not rich. Yeah, obviously just because he's rich. Oh. Download that. Yeah. Which demo is that? Um, I didn't know. Source It's a new game, actually. Yeah, anyways, timing is everything for this. Yeah, but she's saying you're alright out there. Yeah, but anyways. If. Like. Well, Torno, she's like. If she really does want to marry and want to go for pinstripe just because of his money then and she then that means that she's greedy because she doesn't really like him she just likes his money do you want that off no i'm fine you can have it either. anyways she just basically don't like him she just likes his money i mean i mean which girl wouldn't want to marry a a man that's rich. I would. Yeah, if you're a girl. Yeah. I don't know, I'd probably do the same but if I was a girl, but obviously not, because we're boys. And we go for girls. And so, so thank you for me now? Yeah, anyways, we like girls no matter what they are. So anyways, moving on to the Ripley boss fight, and basically you have to jump on top of these TNTs and make sure you get on the right timing, so they explode and Ripley turns red. Which in case Oh shit. Oops. Anyways, as I was going to say before I died, um, is it me? Or does the quality actually look like much crisper than before? Because it actually does to be honest. Yeah, you got to be like Okay. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Anyways, that's Ripperoo the that's Ripperoo the boss fight complete. Yeah. And the frog and drugs. We've beaten that frog on drugs. <laughs> Anyways, moving on to the Lost City. And in the Japanese version, the 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 gentleman squat. Yeah, with them. Um, yeah, with Slippery Climb and what's it called? Sunset um, Mist. Yeah, Sunset Mist. Sunset Mist is probably the hardest level of all. I don't know, should we turn this into 100% Let's Play? Because, I don't know, I might be thinking about doing this 100% Right. Let's see what we'll see there's I'm doing quite well. Um, and they made a harder version of Slippery Climb called Storm Incent. Yeah. And then even harder. Yeah, that's in the beta prototype of the game, but it's not, but it's cancelled for the final version. Yeah, and I've actually seen a video of it, it looks hard, it looks very hard. Oh, that's what it's meant to be. Yeah. Yeah, Pedro will do that. We'll do that level when, when you get to the beta prototype LP. Yeah. And we'll grab a Japanese as well. Yeah. Which will do when he gets his capture card. Yeah. Or whatever it gets. Yeah, whatever. And it may take some time, so please be patient, people. Mm. Uh, it's a HD video recorder, is it, apparently? Yeah. Mm. And it's 49.99 map as well. Yeah, that's the new one I found, the new HD capture card I found. Rather than Rook Show, he get that. Oh, I'm not sure. It is cheaper, but I don't know which one to get. But, it, it's cheaper in the online retailers, though. Yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah on Amazon it's really cheap. It's 61 dollars Anyways, 
as I was saying, like, this is like some sort of lost city. Oh, Barry's up the line. Yeah, so technically this is the lost city, but I don't know what they, they're implying of lost city. Maybe we're talking about the lost city of Atlant of La Atlanta or something, the Atlantic city. Like, Atlantic country or something like that. But this is a tricky part. I swear I've heard a music glitch. What music glitch? Where, uh, where I really went, went to something else for a second. It like went into uh, like a rock and roll tune. Yeah, I think that's part of the song. Is it? Yeah, and he blows himself up once again. I'm going to go close to Um, so, so they say that in uh, the Bermuda Triangle, planes disappear. Okay. Um, and what do you know? We're one foot three away from the other. Like, and how can you forget these annoying bridges? They pee you off badly. If you don't have the right step, then I they pee you off. Yeah. But if you the right one, you're right. I know. Which is the one that's right in the middle? Yeah. And it tips over so easily. You know how annoying it can get. Yeah, check the way Okay, so now we're at some sort of puzzle in the waiting game. In this ancient room. And kind of very patient, so I'm gonna wait for Whereas I will just run across. Yeah, <laughs> get probably hit. done. Get pushed on. Now this takes precision. When that green guy's in the middle. You jump on top of him if you want to get that box. Yeah. It's very wise to do that. Yeah, because then if you killed him and you already and you missed that box and you still want to get it, then it's going to be impossible for you to get it because Crash can't jump that high in this game. Oh, the bat yeah. just made me do a double jump. Did you see that? Yeah. And you should often knock him off as well. Yeah. Yeah, the uppercut and the bat's made me do a double jump. Yeah, we don't have to break all the boxes here. Why? Because it's a bonus round. They don't really count it here. So yeah, 31% of the game. 12 levels done. So far, so good. That's a 20 level sky game. Xbox is quite a lot cold. Yeah. Quite like on this. Yeah. And I like to call him the big muscle man. The big muscle man. I actually used to think he was a sheep when I was young. <laughs> <laughs> true, not a sheep. true story, I actually used to think he did. Well me and my cousin, Lewis, used to call him like we used to call him a sheep and he had some sort of pink hair and we made up this joke about him that <laughs> saying that we're gonna pull one of his heads and stuff like that. Yeah, we were younger than us, so yeah. One by four. Anyway. done. We completed level. Yep, an easy level. And we got the gem. The green gem, that is. Da -da. Da -da -da. Yeah, and as some of you may know, in the Japanese version, the gems are placed in different levels. Like yeah. For example, if we get the green gem, we would have already got it if we were playing the Japanese version. Because yeah. Then we would have got it on Hogwarts, because that's where they placed uh, it there. Anyways, backtrack uh, into Jungle Rollers. Uh, your, uh, your LP is on hold, by the way, just to tell people. Yeah. Just in case some people don't know. Mm. Yeah, the last spot's still there, you can't do it. Yeah, Yeah, I am. I can't see him. 
because the camera don't show that bit. Um, people claim the skunks don't do anything, but they actually kill you. Yeah, if you don't spin them. They don't do anything to me because I always beat them to it. Just like that. Anyways, this level was placed in the demo of the game, but for some reason in the demo there are actually no differences from the demo to the full game. So it's weird because I think that dem because mostly demos would show like beta elements and stuff, but the demo for this game actually doesn't show any beta elements, which is what I've noticed. But but uh, you we have to bring Jim. Yeah. That's, you get it. Yeah, that's the only difference in the demo, but then then again you won't need it in the demo because it's the full game. By the way, one of my YouTube mates called Spike Stuff93 he actually did a trick where you jump on top of one of those boxes that I just destroyed and you get up there and then jump on those iron spring crates in order to get those three boxes up there with the lives. That can actually be done just saw it. He made a YouTube video of it. He did it in his tool assisted speed run as well. So yeah, this is well I know this is in the European demo and the American demo, but I'm not sure if it's in the in the Japanese demo. I'm not or I'm not sure if Japan even has a demo for this game. Well they might, I just don't know. If you die, you will have to come home. Yeah. Well, four <coughs> nine nine until the nine 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 mark. Yeah, that's the gem collected. Da da da. That's the gem collected. Uh, and um, what do you do in the Japanese version? Ito. He goes yada. Something like that. <laughs> I think it was. Yeah, when off the level, um, <coughs> uh, when you enter the level, goes ito. He goes ito. <laughs> Great guy. Wow. Now moving on to Temple Ruins. This is another level. Yeah. I think Sunset Vista is next, isn't it? No, after Temple Ruins, I think it's Boat to Nowhere. Yeah, it is. I just remember. Anyways, back to invincibility. Oh, the well, one where you have to. You have to. Uh, don't spin the other one because you won't get a cool one. Now, the cool X1 isn't in this one. The cool X token isn't in this one. It's in Jaws of Darkness, and that's in the third island, whereas this was in the second island. So yeah, anyways. But it's quite easy to get confused between... between levels like this. Because they both are very similar. Oh, bats again. Yeah, there's more than bats. And the spider. Oh, well, Barry's back online. I wonder what he's doing. Yeah. We'll check out after the video. Yes, anyways, now we're on these sort of discs that spin around. Disc type of platforms. Yeah, we'll play one more for three later. The online part. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah. What level on now? Oh, it's yeah, even though some people say even though there are rumours going on that saying that Modern Warfare 2 is better than Modern Warfare 3 apparently. What if you're online apparently? I don't know, maybe. I don't think you're not that online or in general. Oh, I got squished and I didn't lose enough weapon. Because of my invincibility I take you. Okay, so now I'm moving along to the wow. secret part. In case you guys didn't know that was there, I went there. Get that fire. Yeah, don't want to get ourselves burned. We don't want our arse to get burned. <laughs> Too right. No, you said that in one of your videos. You said, you don't get my arse burned. Oh yeah, I did as well. That was, I hadn't said that in time. That, that, the Crash Bandit 1 is powerful. Yeah, it was. Yeah, you could 
Crash 1 and Two is better than the 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 new Crash 2 to be honest. Yeah. That was before the stupid lag spike started kicking in on my laptop. That's why it's so good. Because of my lag spikes there. Yeah, they're not there. Yeah, Crash 3's can't, can't be coming up after that though. Yeah. It's called Butobi, isn't it, or something? Yeah, Butobi Sekai Ishu, the name of the Japanese version. Butobi Sekai Ishu. Yeah, anyway, we got the gem for this level. So if we didn't give you that much detail of this level, but you probably seen what it is. Basically, just some sort of ruin inside a temple. Yeah, basically. Yeah, an ancient temple. That sums it up, pretty much. Yeah, so that's basically right to, describing right, the level. It's right to my limit. I was right, road to my This is one of those that used to pee people off. Well, yeah. As, yeah. Yeah, as Toby X Y said. Or oh, from. Or oh, Razor. Or oh, Razor Blade 1812. Yeah, it really. It really did piss a lot of people off, just like he said. Uh, you can walk on the ropes as well. Oh shit! Anyways, that doesn't matter because we don't have that gem to get to the secret part, so that's fine. Uh, the other fact that you can do is walk on the ropes. That's not advised because yeah, it's, it's not advised, but for you know, it's not advised for people who have like no experience of this game whatsoever because they don't know what they're doing. Like, that is from cool, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Even though some people may look, think of it as cheating, when it actually isn't. It's not, though. Anyways, it's useful in a speed run. Yeah, it is, because you can just walk on them. Yeah, the player's got a rabbit going now. Yeah, I've got rabbits alive and kicking for the connect. Quite fun to play, even though it's easily tiring. Simple. Yeah. Get a, grab a few drinks, and then... Yeah, I think you're stuck. But not straight away, obviously. It'll give you some time to adapt. But it just takes a bit of getting used to, seeing as the Kinect is very active. Even more active than the Wii, you don't even have to use any controllers and stuff. So yeah, the Kinect is better than the Wii in a way. It's better than this as well. Better than the PlayStation Move. Well, some people think it is. Yeah. Probably it's because you don't have to use controllers on the Kinect. No, you don't use it. Maybe that's why they're saying uh, But in one of the reviews they said that uh, the, uh, the the controller free concept is appealing. Yeah. True. 39% complete. We went on once today. No. Yeah, so let's keep it up. Yeah, there's no path for feature in the Japanese version. Yeah, as we probably mentioned in part one, but we just don't remember because we haven't done it in weeks. Just take a quick sip of my Sprite. Ooh. Yeah, that noise is probably me drinking my Sprite. Just in case you're wondering. Oh yeah, and they added turtles in as well. Turtle, what's on your bracelet? Oh, just we got these from River Island or something. But anyways, moving on. They look like crash caps, some of them. Well, do they? Crash caps. Yeah. They're not actually crash characters. Well, well, they look like it. Yeah, they're basically like Christian characters and stuff like that. Oh, Christian characters. But they're good though. I thought you were a church of England. <laughs> anyways, oh, don't dash. anyways, moving on to Boulder Dash. Oh, the level. Boulders. Yeah, even though we, we cannot get the gem in this level because we don't have the purple gem yet. And we have to get that gem in light side, I think it is. So yeah, it's another ruins level where you get chased by a boulder. So yeah, probably another gimmick of Indiana Jones. Or maybe Jones Indiana Jones probably copied Crash from this. I don't know. We just don't know which uh, way around it is. Maybe you call Indiana Crash. Yeah. Some people say it, some people call it that. Indiana Crash. Yeah, I suppose they could say that because that is relevant to this. Yeah. So 
which we'll be taking later on. Uh, classic you asked, asked what that is. Well, did he? He asked what that was. What, when he was doing his LP? Yeah, he did an LP of Crash Bash. My friend could run through. Yeah, I've seen it, but I can't remember if he asked that, did he? Not just caught it. What, no. what, was he like, what's that? When what? he saw it. What? Was he like, what's that? When he saw the purple gem path yeah. disappear. Anyways, moving on to Sunset Vista. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, or in the Japanese version, this we'd be playing um, slippery cry, slippery climb right now. But we are playing the PAL version, so we are playing Sunset Vista. And let's see if I can do this about save states. Because it's hard. Yeah, we well, can't save states, so let's see if you can get the see if I can get the gem without save states. I did it the last time and I did it the time before. So hopefully I can do it a third time. So yeah, I'm gonna have to be really precise. Close call, close call. So yeah, basically another one of these lost city levels, a sunken city. Same old type of level as the lost city. Yeah, you could do a Grand Turismo now, okay? Check these out, okay? Yeah. Yeah, Tyrex Wright did say that at one point. But, uh, but he knows what the answer is. Yeah. What does the answer stand for? I don't know what it stands for, but... I know what it is, though. It's a CD image. Anyways, I can't believe I managed to spin all those bats away. I thought I was actually going to lose my Akaku mask then. But, turns out I didn't. Anyways, moving on to the next part. But, however, uh, loads of people have trouble getting a gem on this level. And, there's an Akaku mask here, but... I don't think old classic gamer got that Akaku mask. I think... He thought, like, oh, what's the point in getting it? But did you see how many save states? If you saw his LP on the Japanese version of Crash 1, then... Then he used, like, bare save states on this level. You see how... Is there a cockpit king in front Yeah, there is. Oh, that's so close. I actually nearly fell into that water. Oh, into the... Yeah, I'm gonna have to start level all over again, which sucks fast. Oh, that was close. You're wearing brown chinos. Yeah, no, chino shorts. Good oh, for the weather. Oh, oh, we bought them at Yeah. Chino shorts, do That is just a really big concept for girls. Well, that's what they're called, don't you? Uh, yeah, you have chino trousers, but I did know you had chino shorts. Yeah, because I just got them on sand. After I got them on. You got the pack and belt as well. Yeah. Got that from Oxford Street. I think that was an Oxford Street exclusive from Wood Island or something like that. So yeah, I saw that from Oxford Street. Yeah, I saw saw belts like that. Did he? Yeah, he saw Batman one as well. Oh yeah, I saw a Batman one too. I might get the Batman one. <laughs> okay, your choice. And here we are, those annoying tippy bridges again. And I've landed like so close to the middle. And a checkpoint here. Yeah, a checkpoint is where on PC version you use safe 
Yeah, well, if you use an emulator, because there's no PC version, so basically oh, yeah, you're playing. Yeah, yeah, so basically you're playing a PS1 game on the PC, just using an emulator. Yeah, anyway, it's got past that tricky bit, which is pretty confusing for inexperienced people. Basically, this is like the same concept as we had earlier with that green guy jumping on that question mark box up there and our first Cortex token we've just collected, as you can see, in the bottom right corner. Another, uh, 89 to go until so yeah, basically, what you have to do is jump on that red guy and then in order to hit that, otherwise it is impossible to get that. So yeah, anyway, this is our third up Pokemon mask. Invincibility. Bats don't get burnt by that fire. <laughs> Even though they go past it when the fire is up. Okay. Okay. I hope he's done that. Oh. I'm just waiting for the right time. Two pockets now. That's so close. Now. Anyways, that's that bit done. Number 69 until 99. Oh, that's so close. Didn't want to risk any deaths. I was going to do that trick where you bounce that thing on top of your head. That iron crate, but turns out I can't do it. Oh, that's so close and all. And here's our third Cortex token. It's our first key. Yeah, so this is the first time we encountered a Cortex bonus round. Mm. Be careful, if you die, you do not get the key. Did that really well. All we have to do is wait until that key comes. If you jump into that portal without collecting this key over here, you will not get the key and it'll show, it shows that you've done this bonus round for no reason. So yeah, just collected the key, now we, now we take off. First key of two. <coughs> Another 17 levels left then. I'm surprised I haven't died yet. You haven't died once in this LP? In this level. Well, <laughs> I was going to say. Yeah, obviously I died backing up the creek, but that was just a little mystery. Okay, made it wrong. Well, it's not an excuse, it just happened. Anyways, now time for the taller bonus round, which they placed in, like, near the end of the level. And in the Japanese version, there is no taller bonus round for this level. So, yeah. All I have to do is do that just to explode those TNTs, even though it's not that necessary to do. So you're about another 11 life from 99. <laughs> yeah. And though, even though this level is actually quite hard, well, you should play the beta prototype version of this level, because in the beta prototype version of this level, it doesn't actually end, like, all the way up there, it's actually been extended, so it ends further up. It's much higher. 
and with more dangers and stuff, like more of those burning pots of fire. Yeah, I know I'm spam swearing. Spam swearing is not swearing. Yeah, just using words to replace swear words. Just using other words to disguise swear words. I see a lot of them. I know. Yeah. No, ten, ten, ten miles away from you. I'm not even one dead. Not in one, you're eight miles away now. <coughs> I'm getting like nine. You're doing so well. In Carpet Machine you do a life glitch. We got the gem as well. I did it perfect without any save states whatsoever. How good is that? Oh now, yeah, because you're nearly halfway done. Now come on, that deserves a lot of views because not not that much people can actually do that without save states. And that is a well known fact, proven by loads of LPers that have LP'd this game in the past probably. Anyway, so we're going to end it off the part of the compost right, yeah? Yeah, this is the final level of, yeah. final, yeah, the final stage of the game, while the comp. So it's a game? You mean, it, you mean the DLP you mean? The DLP, yeah. You mean, you, you mean got the end of the part? Up. You, mean, you mean the end of the part? Yeah, excuse me for getting mixed up in my words, people. Uh, Crap, it chopped Yeah, basically you can spin the rocks, but you don't have to. You can dodge the rocks if you want, but it's better to spin them because... Well, Crap, it chopped. It's fun to do, and plus, it makes it easier for you. It saves you from moving around. See? Or you could just jump and dodge them, but yeah, it's easier to just push square and spin them. Instead of pressing next uh, button, avoid the cart now. Other directional buttons to spin. Yeah, and if it hits the cart, then Fire Kong does not take a hit. But if, it, but if there are no carts in the way, then he does take a hit. So make sure there are no carts in the way before you actually spin the, the heavy rock. And then, uh, yes, there are TNTs falling from the ceiling. God knows where they're coming from. Yeah, and you hit him in the face with that. He's trying to do some next bullshit poses, thinking he's all tough and hard when he's not. He thinks he's at a gym or something. One more hit and he's dead. So yeah, anyway. And that is Qualcomm dead for this part. For now, so see you guys. And that basically wraps up part two for this LP, so see you guys in the next part. Where we'll be tackling like more levels and stuff like that. But, but they might be harder or they might be easier. Anyways, who knows. But that, as I just said, that wraps up part two for this LP, so see you guys in part three.